If you check out the Hindi Amps website, Chris has done a fantastic video on his larger four channel unit that includes two channels of this Warhol preamp. So if you want a more kind of in-depth look at that, go look at that video. I'm not going to try to bother trying to redo that or do a better job because it's fantastic. But I'm just going to give you a more real-world scenario of why I bought this preamp and what it can do because it's capable of doing a lot of things. So right now, you're, you're actually hearing my voice through this Warhol preamp right now on channel 2. I've engaged the tilt EQ and rolled off some highs and then done a little bit of compression just for that, you know, stereotypical radio voice. <laughs> this mic on the guitar right here is a Chandler TG mic and it's a really cool mic. Sounds great. I love it. I bought it because I needed a brighter microphone that made things sound huge, but the problem is it's a really bright mic and it makes things sound way too big sometimes. <laughs> so right now this mic's capable of doing a bunch of different voicings so right now it's in eq setting 2 on system a which means it's driving the circuit hard inside of the mic and it's on a really bright setting so this is like a bright thin sound so that's going through channel one just the preamp let's take a listen <laughs> So a little on the thin side, the proximity effect can be pretty big on this mic. I usually don't place it this close, but it's on a thinner setting. So sound it sounds good, but it's a little tubby and it's a little bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to engage the tilt EQ, which it's a passive EQ. So that means it's going to get a little quieter. So let's turn up the preamp a little bit. Okay. Now, right away, what you'll notice, I've got it turned down a little bit. So on the tilt EQ, when you turn it counterclockwise, it gets darker. So I've rolled off some highs in it. And then the EQ's natural state, let's actually start it from 12 o'clock. You'll notice that it lost some muddy, it lost a little bit of the muddiness in the mid frequencies, which it's kind of catered to carve out a lot of those frequencies that you end up carving out anyway in the mids. So right away it took out some of the proximity effect of the mic because it's so huge on this, but it still has body. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial down the tilt just a little bit to make it just a little less bright. It can go really tubby. So we're at noon now, I think. Let's just roll it off a little bit. Okay, let's give it just a hair of compression. So now we've got the tilt EQ dialed in to get rid of just a little bit of the highs and some of the muddiness and the proximity effect. And we've done a little bit of compression. So you'll notice it's almost a different sounding mic. Let's play that one more time with these settings. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the compressor and disengage the tilt EQ. It's going to be a bit of a volume spike, so I'm going to turn the preamp down. And this is back to the flat preamp. Go back, EQ on, turn up the preamp, down a little bit of compression.
progression and EQ. Okay. Totally different. So it's easy to dial in a lot of different sounds and it's super quick. So yeah, that's just a quick run through of what this guy's capable of doing. It's a fantastic unit. Um, check it out. It's really good for this TG mic too. I know a lot of people kind of share my same concerns and they've kind of had the same problems with it. Sometimes you want big, but sometimes you just need to back it off just a little bit. You know, it's like just a few percentage points and this guy's perfect at that and it sounds great. But yeah, the Hindi Amps Warhol. Fantastic. You can go and order yours today. <laughs>